All right, welcome to the next training vlog. So, previous one would have been Dara's, and he's going to a five minute mile, uh, no, a sub five minute mile, and the 500 pound back squat on the same day. Obviously, I'm working towards my own maintenance goals, and today's training is going to be uh, triples in the snatch and the clean only, and then some volume front squats after. And then, if I still feel reasonably okay, I'll do some clean deadlifts. So, the snatch, I'll either go for a heavy triple or I'll work for more volume if I don't feel as good and I can't hit heavier weights. In the clean, I'm just gonna mostly look for um, multiple sets across reasonable weights. So not not gonna go for the heavy triple today unless I feel unbelievable, but more than likely I'm just gonna be looking for multiple sets at like 130, 140 to get some work in. And in the front squat, mostly volume. So maybe somewhere between four to seven sets of three, stuff like that. All right, so I'll just also show from about 100 kilos up, and then a little bit of my warm up because people like to see that, but there's no point seeing anything in between.
uh, that actually turned out quite well. So the snatch only worked up to 120. Probably could have done more sets. Could have gone another five, ten kilos for the triple. So I've tripled in the last two weeks, 130, and that was very easy. Uh, the last four days in the trot, though, I did I tried 120 for a triple in the power, and I got two plus one. Then the day after, I did 120 for a set of four in the snatch. Then yesterday, I tried 120 for a triple for in the power snatch again, and I got one plus two. So then today, I got to. I, I had a feeling it wouldn't be the best, but they're still benefiting it. My technique feels good. It feels like it's benefiting a lot from the reps and the slightly lighter, weight, lighter weights. So obviously, as I'm in kind of a volume phase, I'm at the bottom of the triangle currently at the moment, or as much as you can be in weightlifting. I'm just trying to get a lot of reps in, but obviously I'm still trying to get the heavier weights and push the triples. Um, probably keep the triples for another, we'll see how it goes, but up to two weeks. Then move on to the cleans. So I've separated clean and jerks uh, at the, in my training at the moment, because obviously I'm less specific as, uh, as again, as much as you can be in weightlifting. So I'm just doing lots of triples in both of those as well, in the clean separately and in the jerk from rack. So separately paying off from jerk to rack, rack and then, also in the clean from the floor today was the first day it felt very good um, felt a lot better than it has in a long time actually in general in terms of how dynamic my clean feels how fast i feel um so literally like i said i was just wasn't really looking for a heavy triple today just looking for kind of compact volume so i did maybe one two three four five six maybe six sets of three between 100 and 135 so just literally looking for a lot of volume in a reasonably short space of time so 135 felt very good felt probably the best of those so just comp uh, trying to focus on a couple of different things. So trying to keep the shoulder angle o over, angle even. But I turn my toes out slightly in the starting position instead of having them keep forward. So that means I have to move my knees back less, but the bar will come back closer to me as it moves up past my knee. And this thing I'm really trying to focus on at the moment if I clean is that I am not great at pulling under the bar. So a lot of time, for example, last year would have heard me talk about, you know, when I was bigger, stronger, a little bit more brute force, bigger upper body strengths, that I hold the bar over a little bit. So at the moment, I'm trying to learn to pull under the bar while still actively pulling as the bar moves up here in the third pull. And so today was quite good. I felt on the 135, it was a good fact. It was a good movement. I was pulling under well. Obviously, it can always be better, but again, I was quite happy with that. After the snatches, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, and I had to do maybe four or five sets at 100 kilos in the clean for it to kind of warm up and feel a bit better. Um, so moved on then to front squat triples so again today was a lighter volume day or moderate weight so i went like 120 150 160 170 180 in triples so just get a lot of kind of volume in, in compact kind of spaces over a reasonable range of weights and intensities uh 183 wasn't too bad obviously still squatting on these sleeves uh still enjoying it don't feel like i'm missing a whole lot i am still missing body weight but um i definitely will it will get there then moved on to clean deadlifts. So today, not pushing the clean deadlifts for upper weights at the moment. So if you've seen the last training vlog on the heavier day, I would have done 220 for triples with pauses and stuff. So a couple of sets of 220 and they would have been quite easy. But at the moment, I'm literally just keeping it 200, 210, doing a couple of um, couple of more sets. So maybe three to four sets of trees, depending how they feel. Again, just focusing on pulling with my toes turned out a little bit in the start position, but overall quite good. As the whole session went, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, so weirdly enough, how would I describe today was I was kind of physically like muscular damage and local muscular fatigue was pretty high but CNS fatigue was not high I did not feel like I was mentally or I wasn't firing fast enough I felt like I was slow on the snatches because of just actual fatigue like muscular damage so muscular damage to the muscle fibers as opposed to I wasn't able to pull fast enough because uh, if you look at them they don't look that slow but I could feel my the kind of fatigue in my legs from, for example, the back squats on Friday. So kind of, again, a lot of sets to that. And then, <clears throat> so from the jerks yesterday, take out a lot of, out of my legs as well, especially when you're walking out of the rack. But uh, overall quite good. Um, again, so we're kind of at the bottom of the triangle and I'm pushing hard for 160, 200. And I am confident I will get it for sure. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't, maybe subscribe and leave a like, possibly.